Hello everyone, it's Joel Davis with YouAreTheBroker.com, helping you to build a highly effective and highly profitable broker business. In a minute, I'm going to share with you some great news. Uh, starting next week, we are actually going to become even more engaged with all our active licensees by literally helping you to find, pre-screen, and retain reliable contractors. Now before I get to that, there's two things I want to do. First thing I want to mention, um, as you all know, uh, I come from the medical transportation uh, industry background and I am very much engaged in that industry. Uh, I love that industry. I love battling the brokers and everything associated with it. I love working with so many of you. Um, the reason I sidetrack real quick is because some people have been hesitant to diversify and expand and start their own broker business. But something happened uh, just recently with one of the client providers I'm working with. Uh, one of their drivers was literally trying to unwrap a sandwich. So he was trying to eat while he's driving. Thankfully, no one was in the car with him. He ends up rear-ending a car who rear-ends another car. So this driver who is trying to eat and drive at the same time ends up causing a three-car uh, accident three-car pileup. Um, why am I mentioning this? Because is this driver going to be fired? Sure, he's going to be fired. But who is left holding the bag? Let's think about this. This driver who uh, was busy trying to stuff his face and slam his gullet while driving, yeah, he'll get fired. But guess what? Chances are good he's probably still going to collect unemployment insurance. Uh, but who is left holding the bag? You, the transportation provider, the entrepreneur, the business owner, you're left holding the bag. Your employee, your employee uh, caused the accident and gets to walk away for all practical purposes scot-free. From what I understand, all three cars, um, no one was hurt, so that's great news. But the employee, yeah, he'll get fired. He'll go collect his unemployment insurance, I'm sure. Uh, who knows? They'll probably even, a couple weeks from now, he'll probably even claim that he was hurt and, and go get some workers' comp policy too. But... The reason I'm mentioning all this is because that employee of that transportation business gets to walk away scot-free. Who holds the bag, the costly bag? The business owner, you, the transportation provider. The reason I mention this is to, again, I love the NEMT industry, I love what we do, I love the opportunities, everything about it, but this is why I encourage so many of you to grow, expand, and diversify. Do not be a one-trick pony, not only in your NEMT, but with your NEMT business or your home care industry, uh, your home care business. Be diversified, build, grow, expand. I mean, hey, if you listen to a lot of these uh, wacky loon tune politicians out there who want to tax you at 90%, you better start uh, finding ways to make more money because they're gonna be pickpocketing you even more. So, uh, but in going back to this accident, uh, who is left holding the bag struggling? The transportation provider. The reason I mention this is you will never, you will never face such an instance with your broker business. I have a lot of contractors. If you've been keeping up with the newsletters, I've been sharing a lot of my numbers with you. Uh, I shared with you uh, the, the my contractors, some of their 1099s, so you see a lot of them are making money. But let's say that was one of my contractors. If one of my contractors is operating his own truck and he ends up rear-ending a car and another car, guess what? I'm never going to see that policy. I'm never going to touch that policy. It's not in my hands. I'm never going to have to pay for damages. I have no insurance premiums that are going to go up. Nothing. I'm out of the mix. I'm not even engaged in that. The biggest thing I would have to do is if any damage uh, occurred to any of our customers' uh, possessions. Notice I say possessions and not people because the difference between a medical transportation or any type of a, a livery service versus what we do, we don't transport people for hire. So what's the worst thing that happens? Someone's furniture might get damaged. I'd rather deal with that versus a person getting damaged. Whole heck of a lot cheaper, but regardless, the only thing I would have to deal with if one of my contractors rear-ended re a car or another car is literally deal with the fallout of a delayed delivery or possibly damaged goods. Big deal. If that's my biggest problem, I ain't got problems. But in going back to the main point, that was a very important topic that I hope gives some of you perspective, some of you people who've been sitting on the fences. But going back to the, to the main point of this video, we are going to be actively engaged starting next week in helping you uh, prospect for contractors. The reason we're doing this 
is we just brought on a new investor slash business partner. Um, she's well credentialed, great experience in corporate America, uh, public relations, excellent. Um, she saw the opportunity of what we're doing and she didn't hesitate to jump on board. So we're great to uh, it's great to have her. We're excited about having her. And her responsibility is literally going to be that point of contact, that liaison who is going to be reaching out to national retailers, corporate companies and entities uh, to further cultivate um, relationships and dialogues and to share the opportunity of partnering with youarethebroker.com. So as I mentioned in some of my previous newsletters, again, I hope all of you have been reading them. I know everybody's busy, but uh, definitely go back and read some of those newsletters so you can learn more about where we're at and the trajectory that we're on. I mentioned one of these national retailers, and I won't mention their name yet because we don't have any type of a formalized agreement or arrangement with them yet. Uh, if I mentioned their name, you would definitely know them because their TV commercials are all over the place. Uh, they are excited to work with us and they're going to continue to watch us. Um, we've given them an introductory uh, insight into where we're at, where our licensees are. Uh, and over the next six months to a year, they're really going to be uh, watching our growth. Um, so we're really excited about that because our goal is to build our national network, which is comprised of all of your broker businesses. So our strength is your strength. Your strength is our strength. We want to do everything we possibly can to get you launched to building your own uh, contractor base uh, because we literally want to be able to share with these companies exactly where we have licensees and their capacity. When I talk about capacity, I'm talking about what they can do with number of vehicles, number of um, contractors. So we want to do everything we possibly can, which puts me at your doorstep right now through this video. Starting next week, we literally, for all of our active licensees and those who are in, going through the process right now, soon to become active licensees, once you have your authorized.net account and integrated with your fetch module account and you're ready to roll, we are going to start placing ads in your local community on our dime and with our effort. Now, our goal is very simple to generate as much interest as we can to find and pre-screen potential reliable contractors. So we're gonna go through some of the initial screening, some of the initial uh, intake. We're not gonna be talking with them on the phone. Everything will be done online, online questionnaires, online advertisements, email correspondence, things of that nature. So let's say for easy math, we found good, uh, we found 10 prospective contractors in your area. We would try to pre-screen them to the best of our ability. Let's say we're left with a handful. We would then take that handful of contractors, put them on your lap, and then you follow up with them in detail. We want you following up with them to make it look as seamless as anything. So, so our efforts and your efforts are synonymous and and uh, commingled together. So we want you, you, it's critical that you are the one that literally picks up the phone, calls them, sets up a meeting, pre-screens them uh, through a one-on-one -on -one personal interview. Um, it's critical that you do that. Now, let me be abundantly clear. Let me be abundantly clear because I can totally see what's going to happen. Someone's going to call us up five months down the road and say, Joel, you promised us five contractors. I'm not promising you anything. The only thing I'm promising you is that we are going to do everything we possibly can to help. Keyword is help. Help you find good contractors. We're going to pay for the online advertising that we do. Uh, we're going to pay for the, the labor cost, the time, the effort to do some of the pre-screening on our end. But this does not alleviate you from the responsibility of continuing to look for your own reliable contractors. Uh, as I openly talk about, it's very easy for me to find good contractors now. Because again, if you've seen, if you've, if you've read the previous newsletters and you've seen some of the things I've shared about our contractors, some of their 1099s, and you see they're making great money, it's very easy for us to find contractors. Because in most places where we're already established, you know, our contractors are, are they come to us. It's literally. Uh, one of our existing contractors, father or brother or nephew or cousin or great friend or whatever, they see how much money their, their friend or sibling is making and they want to make the same so then they contact us. So it's very easy for us to find and retain contractors. And in time, the same thing will happen for you. Um, but like right now, as I'm headed down to North Carolina to establish a presence there in Charlotte, um, we're going to be advertising online. So we're going to be advertising and prospecting for prospective contractors. So in that regard, we're going to be working online. 
um, and you're going to be doing the same. So let me be abundantly clear. Everything we're going to be doing is to help you, assist you, aid you, but not replace you. Your job is still to be looking at the same time, working to find, identify, retain, uh, pre-screen credible contractors. And again, just like I just mentioned, once you have a handful of contractors that are making good money, it's very easy for you to get more. We witness it on a daily basis. We have an army of contractors and it's great. Um, but again, if I'm going into, into a new market, then I'm going to advertise online. And because most of you are new, uh, coming into this business, we want to do everything we possibly can to help you. Um, in fact, while I'm down in North Carolina, some of the, one of the contractors I'm going to meet, he's been with us for two years. Uh, very good, been very busy, but it's been two years. He's literally been helping grow my broker business and I've never met him. Um, great guy, great effort, makes good money, but every time I've been traveling there, he's been busy and our paths just have never been able to cross, but we're making a point of it now. So here it is, he's been with us for two years and I've never personally met him. Um, but again, let's go back to the original, the way that I open up this video. Could you imagine, this guy's been with me for two years, if he was involved in an accident uh, and he rear-ended somebody uh, due to his negligence, he's going to be paying for it, not me. That's one of the key, that is huge, that is a huge difference between a traditional business and the broker business model. Uh, it, it, it totally removes you, it insulates your earning potential, it removes you um, from those nonsensical potential hazards that are associated with all these employee-based uh, businesses. So if you've been sitting on the fence, you're still observing, not 100% sure, man, I hope a situation like that, I always say a smart man learns from his own mistakes, but a truly wise man learns from the mistakes of someone else because they're a whole lot easier and a whole lot more cost effective. Learn from a situation like that. Again, I'm dealing with this, uh, this uh, client provider right now in the NEMT industry and he is just beside himself. He's concerned. About, uh, can you imagine his insurance? You know it's going to go up. I mean, there's no question. His driver is negligent. So his insurance is guaranteed 100% going to go up. So what's the follow-up going to be financially for him? How is it going to affect the bottom line? Well, we're going to see in the future, but you do not have those problems in your broker business. So again, thanks so much for watching this video. Stay engaged, stay connected to us, stay connected to us. Let us know what we can do to help you. Your success is our success. Our success is your success. Our goal is to further intertwine our national network with the supply chain management of all these national retailers and corporate entities because that's where we're going to start making real money and have a continuity of policies. One thing we've noticed, for example, in my broker business that operates more in the southeast, we've noticed that some of the retailers we work with, uh, some of our licensees out west and northeast and northwest, we've noticed that there is some variation in some of the policies at the st in different stores and, and corporate entities. So we believe uh, that in the future, as we establish our youarethebroker.com network and increase capacity, we are not only going to be able to further penetrate these regional uh, entities, but also have, uh, create more uniform policies and procedures, which is just going to make things easier. Again, success breeds success. The hardest part is getting started. The hardest, the hardest thing to do is to get your first one, your first customer, your first contractor, your first account. Uh, but once you get them, success breeds success and it all starts to exponentially compound. So stay engaged. I wanna hear from you. Uh, stay tuned for more um, videos. Definitely newsletters because there's gonna be a lot of things coming out in the very near future regarding this uh, uh, with for us literally being involved in helping you prospect for contractors. So thanks again. I will always see you at the top.